this video is ah, <laughs> all about hacks. <laughs> Just kidding, not those type of hacks. I'm talking about U Waterloo life hacks to make your transition from high school to university a little bit easier. In high school, if you went to class, if you paid attention, did your assignments and generally did what you needed to do, you'd be successful. Versus in university, a lot of that work and that learning happens outside of the classroom. So it's up to you to be responsible in managing your learning and doing what you need to do to succeed. Deadlines. You may be used to a lot of flexibility when you were in high school when it comes to submitting assignments late. But in university, there is very little accommodation for late assignments or extensions. My life hack to you is get the course syllabus right at the beginning of the semester and mark down when all your deadlines are. Then put in your phone reminders so that you can make sure you remember each deadline. Let's talk about some classroom rules. You know, if you want to go to the bathroom in high school, you may have had to ask for permission. But in university, just get up and go. Now let's talk about note taking. If you want to use your computer, that's fine. Just close down any distractions. But you can also do it the old fashioned way and just do paper and pen. Most importantly, if you have questions or if you're unsure, just ask. You can ask your professor, you can ask your TA, advisors, the student success office, and even the center. If you're unsure, just ask. Don't get your coffee right before or right after class. There is going to be a massive lineup. My life hack to you is to come during a certain period of time where there'll likely be no lineup. Most classes will end either 20 past or 10 to. So if you come in between those times, there'll likely be no lineup. Another great hack is that if you have a course during a meal time, you can actually ask the calf to pack a meal for you so you'll always have your lunch or dinner. Getting stuck in a line is going to happen in life. So instead of just scrolling through our social media feed, how about checking out the undergraduate award database? <laughs> it has over 600 different scholarships, awards, and bursaries that can all help you with funding your education. Or skip the line completely. When ordering your course books, wait until the second week. Ask your profs and check your syllabus so that when you do go to the W store, you're getting exactly which books you need. You can also order online from the W store and they'll deliver to your residence or you can pick up in store for free. There's really no need to wait in a line. Sometimes you need to just get away from campus and de-stress. My life hack to you is to come to Waterloo Park. It's a five minute walk and a two minute scooter. And they're llamas. The llamas and I, we have a special bond. The first time we met, we had the same hairstyle. It was beautiful. Let's go see what else is in the park. Bike path, bridges, pond, boardwalk, geese, peacocks, the playground, a cricket pit. Check out these, <clears throat> I mean donkeys. Pony, no, come back. A soccer field and Laurier Waterloo Park Ion Stop. Now that I've got my Zen back, it's time to talk about exams. I'm gonna give you my best tips for exam prep. First thing you have to do is make a plan. Know how much your exam is worth and whether it's cumulative or since the midterms. And then you've got to schedule in that time to actually prepare. Second thing to know is how you study best. What study methods are you gonna use? For me, I really like cue cards. It allows me to take loads of information and put them into bite size info that can be studied by myself or with a group. Food and sleep. It's super important that you have healthy snacks on hand and that you're getting a good night's sleep. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself so you're mentally and emotionally ready for these exams. No one else is going to do it for you. Hmm. Time management is so critical. 
You've got to own your own schedule and figure out when to study. Speaking to profs could really help. Uh, there's so much going on when you start university. For me, what works best is planning it all out in my handy dandy planner and then entering reminders in my phone so that I do get those notifications to keep me on track. In high school, guidance counselors, teachers, even your parents would have reminded you if you had something coming up. But in university, it's all up to you to handle the big things like exams and part-time work and documentation to the small things like doing your laundry and little things like that. Campus is big. I mean really big. 4.5 square kilometers big with more than 65 buildings. So where would you go if you needed to do something? Something that maybe your mom, dad or someone else used to do for you. My life hack to you is to come here to the Needles Hall, to the center. They will help you out. The center is located on the main floor of Needles Hall. And here are some things that you can do here. So let me show you how the center works. As you walk in, there's a kiosk that's right here and you can just tap your walk card or you can enter in the number or even your name. Then you select why you're here. You can select general if you're unsure. I'm here because I'm trying to get a course override. So a really cool feature is that you can actually enter in your phone number and they'll text you when it's your turn. But I'm just gonna take the ticket. Ticket pops out, tells you your number. My number is C308, which I think, you know, is a pretty great number. There's some screens behind me and when it's your turn, your number will pop up there and it'll also show you the order of the other people that are here waiting. Hello, so Hi. I am 308, also known as Lassa. Just to let you know, I am shooting a vlog. It's for you Waterloo life hacks. And of course, we have to bring them to the center because it's such an awesome place. But specifically, I need help with a course override today. Could you help me with that? Definitely. Hi, my name is Akwasi. We're here to help you out. Any questions that you may have, feel free to ask them and we'll definitely try to answer them. And if we can't, we'll definitely point you in the place that you need to go so that you can get your questions answered. Awesome, thanks so much. No so let's get into this course override. But you don't need to be here for this. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. This is amazing. It clearly pays to take different routes. Talking about routes, it was pouring rain one day. So I decided to try and cut through the buildings. I ended up in EIT and found dinosaurs. We have dinosaurs. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm on a roof. <laughs> And can you see what's behind me? It's an observatory. I didn't even know we had an observatory until third year when a friend of mine invited me on a public tour. They do them the first Wednesday of every month. Thanks for watching Warriors and stay tuned for more Countdown to Campus videos. If you have any questions about where to find support resources on campus or anything else, check the links below or shoot us a message. Take care of yourself and know that the Waterloo community is here for you. Bye.